Turns out my camera is cooler than I am. It has a skateboard and I don't. But you know what? I think I can borrow it from time to time. So let me see if this thing works. How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Today while setting up I figured everyone does it straight so why not do it tilted? That's a little bit different right? The background's good, the composition's good, I fill up this space, content goes here, even the lighting's great. I got the key light evenly lighting my face and the window light kind of doing this backlight thing. So back to topic, since I advertise myself as a budget photographer I figured I'd go through all my cheapo equipment and tell you things about it starting with my mini action cam dolly which I ordered in place of a slider for my DSLR. I got in on eBay a year ago and I was surprised that it had an all metal build and nice wheels which kind of absorbed the shock from uneven surfaces. It's really convenient to carry due to its size and doesn't require any preparation to use. The wheels can be turned in any direction allowing for smooth rolling to like pan or zoom as well as circle an object or create more diverse moving patterns. Depending on the surface the footage can be a little bit shaky but nothing you can't fix in post using a little bit of stabilization. The thing is that in the year that I own it I've only used it maybe three times. As convenient as it is to transport and set up, it's very rare that you'll have the necessary smooth surface area while simultaneously having good composition. The only constant surface is the floor, but that creates a very specific type of shot which you probably don't want too many times in your video, in which case it's not worth carting this thing around the whole time. Besides, a good glide cam shot will take all of these shots without a problem while also being more versatile for other things. I've considered making a wooden platform that will fit in my backpack and I can carry it around with me and set it up on my tripod iPod, but again the amount of time it takes to adjust for a good composition is just not worth it. Nevertheless I love the results that it creates so you can't call it worthless it's just very specific. I can think of at least two photography areas that it would come in very handy. Interiors and product. If you're making a video for a real estate agency, it's great for making interior shots, especially texture or details. And it could get into places that a glide cam just couldn't. And making reviews on small products is perfect because you can pan or rotate around it on a table without a hiccup. So overall, it's a great tool, just very specific. Knowing then what I know now, I probably wouldn't have purchased it as it definitely does not replace a slider. But if your videos belong in those industries or something similar, then it's definitely worth it. That's it, let me know if you like this type of review video as well as this whole tilted composition thing. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. And I'm gonna see you guys next week. Uh, wrong hand.